today, looking up at the purpose. The purpose today is compare and contrast Hammurabi's Code of Laws and the Arkansas Code of Laws. Um, sophomores, have y'all looked at the Arkansas Code Book yet? Not yet. So, so the juniors in your class will be a little more familiar with this because um, I think you guys have started looking at the Code of Laws. I'm not sure that happens a lot during sophomore year, but we're going to introduce a little bit of it this year. So, compare and contrast Hammurabi's Code of Laws and the Arkansas Code of Laws, and then create a visual product that exhibits your group analysis of the readings. Yesterday, you were looking at early River Valley civilizations. Uh, who had Tigris and Euphrates? Yeah, okay, so this is your early River Valley civilization that you were looking at. And we're going to talk about one of the earliest written Code of Laws. And you have that source on your desk, and it was Hammurabi, a, a leader from ancient Mesopotamia. And so first, your first assignment is going to be to read and annotate. We've done a little bit of annotating. Remember, your goal is to kind of question what you're reading, look for words that are unfamiliar, you want to look for patterns, and you want to look for the purposes of the laws. Uh, Hammurabi's code is fascinating. It's kind of funny and surprising at times. Of course, if you live there, it's probably not quite so funny. But some of the stuff they do, we would think, wow, that's crazy. So kind of look at what were the laws, what were the purposes of the laws, what were they trying to get? Were they trying to get retribution? Were they trying to get restitution? What were they trying to fix with the laws? So let's start with the annotating. I'll give you 15 minutes. And then we'll discuss what you've done up to that point. So I've got to find the timer. So 15 minutes. Annotation is taking what is written down into the law and putting it into your own way, asking questions, and just making sense of it. Me personally, I like to highlight words that I don't understand or phrases that, you know, just make sense to me. And then I write down questions, I look up the meanings of words, or I try to look around and find out the meaning. Understand the material better when it's in your own words and understanding the meanings instead of just reading and trying to understand later on. I think I like to read it through twice and then like go and highlight the words or phrases I don't really understand. And then when I get the chance to like look it up or ask someone, so then that helps a lot. I like listening to other people's opinion because that's what makes me learn more and I, I like working like that. I sometimes read or if I get stuck I like ask um, the people in my group or a teacher to help. Reading is used everywhere. You have to be able to comprehend things that are used inside and outside of class. We are kind of focusing on authentic literacy at the secondary level and authentic literacy takes place a little differently than it does with lower grades because we don't have reading classes specific to most high school students. So you will see literacy happening in every single class, um, whether it's reading a manual or uh, following directions with technology or in our case looking at Hammurabi's Code of Laws and the Arkansas Code of Laws. Um, in this classroom today, I had them annotating, which meant they had to try to have a conversation with the text. So as they're reading, they are asking questions on the side, they are thinking about what categories they want for the compare contrast, um, trying to process more deeply the information is the goal. After they read, after they write, then I try to give them time to also process. So that takes it past the annotation to where they're hearing, to where they're speaking, because we spend a lot of time uh, thinking about our thinking, me metacognition at the high school level. Mm -hmm. um, because you think you understand something, but when you go to explain it, if you can't explain it, then you don't really get it. <laughs> and so I try to have them talk about it, ask their questions, and process as a group also. 